Yeah. Welcome to the hallowed halls of Harvard Law. Now, I happen to know firsthand how hard you've all had to work to be here today. <laughs> so, uh, let's go around and share a bit about yourselves. Aaron Schultz. I want a Fulbright and a Rhodes. I write financial software codes, but that's a challenge I've outgrown. How many yachts can one man own? Some say that I'm a pompous creep. Somehow I don't lose that much sleep. Why bother with false modesty? Harvard's the perfect place for me. Crazy, impressive, good to know. Welcome to Harvard. What's up? Yes. Callahan is ruthless. 
He likes to bathe in a lot of sheep, blah, blah, blah. Only partly true. But what you really need to know is... You have a right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you. Nobody chooses a law career the moment you embark. There is that joke about I hear. A lawyer is a shark. <laughs> Ignore that. It's simplistic. And it's dumb. Only some of you will turn out sharks. Just some. The rest are chum. Our topic is blood in the water. Kids, it's time you face. Law school is a waste. Oh yes, unless you acquire a taste for blood in the water. Dark and red and raw. You're nothing until the thrill of the kill becomes your only law. Mr. Schultz, hypothetical question. Would you be willing to defend the following banker accused of fraud? The Colonel Grandma took a savings and she sent it off to your client. All she saved since she was born. Well, he promised to invest it, but he spent it on prostitutes and heroin and poor. <laughs> no, I wouldn't want to take that case. Wrong. This one is a win, but unless you're lazy. Grandma's broke. She'll have some hat from legal aid. Put her on the stand and call her all and crazy. Your guy goes free and he can get you hired late. Look for the blood in the water. Read your Thomas Hobbes. Only mindless snobs would quarrel with the moral at dubious jobs. Yes, blood and the water. Yes, scruples are the flaw. Miss Hoops. Yeah. Another hypothetical. Would you be the right lawyer for the following plates? For defending a famous hitman from the Mafia elite. Seems he missed his chosen prey. Killed a knock, drove away, running over three cute puppies in the street. What? You think I wouldn't defend him just because he's a typical man? Typical man, please. Oh, you lesbians think you're so tough. What? Oh, dear. I feel my comment has offended. Hard to argue, though, when you're too mad to speak. Your employment will be very quickly ended once they see how your emotions make you weak. So what's my point? I run a billion dollar law firm and I hire four new interns every year. From this class, I will select four young sharks that I respect and those four will have a guaranteed career. Do you follow me? So I want to see what? The games begin! Four of you will win. But just those four with a dorsal fin. Yes! Blood in the water! So bite and scratch and claw! Yes, miss? This one's Alan Someone said they wanted coffee. Would you summarize a case of State of Indiana versus Hearn from your reading, please? Oh. But I wanted to answer the puppy question. But I'm asking you for the assigned reader. Oh, okay. Who <laughs> assigns reading for the first day of class? Ha 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 ha. You have got Miss Woods. Miss Kensington. Yes. Let us see. Oh, no. Let us say you teach a class at Harvard Law School, a position that you're justly proud of. And the girl on whom you call hasn't read the case at <coughs> all. Would you let it go? No. I'd throw her out. All right, then. You heard your classmates. You have just been killed. She cut your throat, so grab your coat. Yes, you 